Okay, this is the uh, second video on the HP signal generator has gone wrong. What I've done is I'm running through the um, VCO circuit just to check uh, to see what what's what really. Um, and I've gone through the first check here, and this is the first check for the um, VCO frequency. And let me just show you what I'm doing now. This this is the VCO. These are the VCO circuits. I'm measuring with the uh, frequency counter to check to verify the frequencies now I've done it on the first point which is W1 which is wire 1 at uh, one of the um, one of these pull out boards and that's this wire here so it's this one here W1 means wire 1 um, and now I'm moving on to W2 and we're going to test the uh, the voltages here as well just to see well, not the voltages, the frequencies to make sure they're within spec. So you've got a, a reference frequency because bear in mind these are two frequencies, like the input of a, a, a super hex. You've got the radio frequency coming in, and then you've got the uh, the offset frequency, which gives you the IF. It's the beat frequency sort of system. So what I'm doing now is set the meet, set the signal generator to 340 megahertz, and I'm looking on this wire here, which is uh, wire 2 which is 965 white is significant 9 blue 6 green 5 on A6A7 so this is should be unit 7 this is A6A7 and you can see that so we're on the right point we're just checking the frequency here with the scope pro is the so we've got 335 megs so 336.5 is good, so I'm going up to 350 MHz, check again, that's 334.8, 334.8, so 344.8, sorry, 344.8, so 345, that's within 3 MHz, uh, so we increase it to 380 MHz, 380 mag come on 380 mag gives me 375 which is 376 that's within spec 430 megs that gives me 425.2 425.5 that's good uh, 520 megs. Five one three point five. Five one six. That's good. Five thirty megs. Five two four point five. Uh, five two four point eight. So that's um. 525.5 so that's this space so basically what I've done is I've checked the two points here W1 W2 these frequencies are wrong um, what I have checked and it looks like this is the problem and I'll go through this to show you now reconnect this wire turn the unit off reconnect the wire now this is the uh, this is the part of the VCO this is the VCO input uh, sorry, this is the VCO output, so basically the frequency alters the, the voltage reference point on here, as in voltage controlled oscillator. So I'm going to connect this lead here to the Hewlett Packard up here. Now start start the loop again, start the uh, cycle again, 340 megahertz, minus 26.21. It should be minus 36.1, so that's straight away a fail. 350 megahertz, it should be minus 26.6, it's minus 21.0, so that's low. 380 megs, it should be minus 36.1, low, minus 28.2. 430 megahertz. Minus 33.35, and that is actually very close. 33.40. Now, I know around this frequency, the, the system will work correctly again. 
Um, it won't at the moment because I've uh, had to break the uh, control loop so the, the unit's running an open loop system and you need to do that to test do all this this um, test here. Um, so there's obviously something wrong with the VCO. I'm sort of closing in a bit I think on what's wrong with it. Now we know the decimal place is missing on this. This is this isn't the part of the fault. 520 megs minus 30.7 should be 19.7 miles out. So let's do the last one because we're nearly done. 530 megs. We've got minus 36.03 minus 30. Point. So it's, there's something seriously wrong with the, the programming voltage here. Um, and if you look in them, the, these manuals are they're really very good actually. They really are detailed. Uh, I must admit, if you uh, if you got one of these uh, Hewlett Packards, obviously you probably won't be able to get the original manual, which I obviously got when I was given the uh, generator. But download the original manual because it's it's brilliant. It's so well, I wouldn't say it's easy to use. I'm still struggle with it, but it's 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 really well laid out and really well written. Um, so okay, um, so let me just run through what we've done. Uh, pull out the A4 and the A5 board. One's the uh, RS board and one's the uh, OS board. Um, it does explain what the the difference is. RS, RS is a reference sum, and the OS, OS is the output sum. So basically, one's a reference and one's an output. Um, and slide the slide switches to the test position. That's the two. These are the two balls here with switches inside. You slide them out. There's a couple. Of, there's a slider switch. You just open the loop. So this is what I've. This is what I've been doing. This opens a loop, so the VCO can be checked. Use use table eight slash two one nine and eight slash two 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 zero, depending on the loop being checked. Now it does say earlier that if both the lights are on on the on the fault, which is what I've got here, and you can see these two red LEDs lit up start with the uh, the OS uh, the RS version which is the reference sum which is what I've, the test I've just done and check the VCO output the front panel frequencies given in the table if the VCO function normally functions normally continue troubleshooting step 4 when it doesn't if the VCO output is not normal check the two input signals to the VCO and then it says the tuning voltage should be the value given in the table. If the voltage is not normal, there is likely a problem in the pre-tuned circuitry of A4 or A5, whichever drives the VCO, where the problem exists. Now, the VCO that's failing is uh, the, as I say, the RS one, which is the reference sum, and the reference sum is the A5 board. So. A5 board is this one here, and it's the input to this one. So, what I need to do then is check the input here from the output of this LF multiplier. I just noticed that connection's loose, I'm hoping that's not the problem. Um, but so, I think on the next stage of this video, I'm going to try and uh, work out. We know that these these loops are probably okay. It looks like they're probably being pro programmed wrong. We haven't haven't actually, can't be absolutely sure of that because the voltage here is wrong. We need to check the input to see what the input's doing. But um, initially, it looks like there's a problem there. Anyway, I've just spotted that I'm possibly checking the wrong loop here. That's the output sum. Now, see, I've just really, oh, I'm supposed to be checking the reference sum. Okay. Right, let me just go back a step here. I'll jump the gun a bit. Reference sum. I should be checking the voltages on the A4J2. Well, that's reference sum. Tuning voltage. That's strange. It's showing that that is right. A, that's the reference sum. That's the A4. That's the A5 board. That's confused me. That has because 
all this was done what's happened here it says measure those two wires they're diff they were definitely in the right place and those voltages were definitely right this is a pre-tuned voltage plus or minus one volt A4J2 and that is A4 and that is definitely J2 but I'm wondering if it actually means there I wonder if there's a typo so I was looking at the reference sum reference sum oscillator output sum VCO it says A4J2 Yeah, you see, I, this is where this is wrong, isn't it? The output sum is this one here. I've been checking this one, so I think that's... I've been looking at the wrong point. Let's check that point. So let's turn this off. Looks like... Because there's no reason... You wouldn't be checking these two voltages. This is one board, that's the other board and they're saying check the same point I think that's a typo so let's reconnect that again I bet someone's done this before and say don't follow the instructions it's wrong or I've made a balls up somewhere so let's have another look let's put this uh, Let's put this in here and see what voltages we get here. Now, if we get the right voltages now, then straight away you think, well, it's been printed incorrectly. So, this time we try it again. So we go back again to 340 megahertz, 340 megs. At 340 megahertz, I should have minus 36.10. Ah, see, much closer straight away. So I'm going to put a question mark with that test point I think that's I think that's A48 what do I think that is I think that's A, A6 A5 okay let's go through that and check that 30, so it's 36 volts now I've got a plus or minus 100 millivolt. No, plus or minus one volt, so that's fine. 350 megs, 26.3. Yep, that's okay. It's still within plus or minus one. 380 megs. This is why you can never be totally sure that these things are correct. 380 megs, 36.10. Yep, that's well within spec. 430 megs. 430 megs should be 30, minus 33.40. Still in spec. 520 megs. Minus 90.70. That's okay. 530 megs. Minus 30.70. So that's inspect. So now, so that's a failure at the suggested point. Pass at A six A five J two, which is does make sense because I am actually checking this loop, not the next loop down. So okay, so it looks like. The reference sum VCO is probably working okay, um, which is fine, so that means we can move on to the next stage. So let's turn this off, reconnect this loop, and then check the next loop. It seems strange that the way that the generator's working is if I tune the, uh, the single signal generator at certain points it will work okay and the next then the next step it is sort of like it's in digital steps it seems like in digital steps where it won't work it will work it won't work it will work 
it won't work it work it's like a ladder of it works doesn't work works doesn't work so I need to go through the next stage now which is this uh, point here so we're going on to the output sum loop so this is this one here and we're going to check that now the output sum loop so bear with me a moment whilst I go through this So I'm looking at the voltage control oscillator Y4935. A4 and A5 are J1 measure at W4935 AJ1 just checking the I'm getting this right because it looks like the wrong colour on the wire. Strange. I think I need to come back to this. I need to verify these wiring and uh, check that. But I'm pretty sure that the reference sum's working okay. Uh, so I'll come back and uh, we'll, we'll continue. Thanks for watching.